Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Geneforge. As you can see, we're back at the Ascended Labs area, uh, which is where I think I came across that name Eula that was mentioned last time. <laughs> mentioned among very many other things, because, man, was that an, a lore-filled episode. Uh, I have not actually yet gone back and rewatched everything to, uh, I guess, really ingrain, solidify all that knowledge. Um, so if I do confuse something or fail to remember something, please forgive me. But, uh, I mean, this should not be directly main story related, uh, what we're about to do here. I'm specifically, that is, uh, attempting to kill the cockatrice, if we can't even reach it. Last time we tried, we were just way too underleveled. Uh, I think enemies were level 13 or 14. We are level 11 now, so uh, that should not be completely impossible. Of course, who knows what level the uh, the boss is going to be. Um, and I also do want to talk to people here again, just to see if the name Eula is indeed mentioned. I was also briefly afraid that Eula might literally be here, but no, she's not. Um, Cecina, Cecina, please. Um, I mean, I did hear the story. Was it part of the story, though? Is there anything I can I can do to help you? I mean, I already have the quest. Uh, I could repair your body. He doesn't want that. I could help with your mission. I'm glad. I could, well, I could repair your body, but nope. Uh, I'd like to know more about this ruin. It was used by shapers. Uh, what did you do with the rogues that were here? What work do you do here? You get visitors. Oh, maybe. Uh, ah, I see the name. Yes, they're infrequent, but the learned of Susha Island know of Ascended Cecina. Okay, um, right. The Shola, like Eula. She's one of their traders. She's greedy for the toys of the shapers. Okay, where can I find Eula? Cecina's eyelid twitches. His mouth twists into a grin. I can direct you to where she is. I think you could get a lot from each other. I will need your help first, though. That's what it was. Okay. Well, then, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, assuming I can... Uh, deal with this quest yet. I mean, if I can't do it yet, uh, I, I'll do it at some point, so that's fine. Right. Save the game, and let's see. Of course, I, I also started the previous episode with uh, my newly created Red Nira, and never got a chance to actually test her out in combat, so we'll see how useful that curse is, and how she deals damage-wise. Um, how she, how she performs damage-wise. So, level 13, Battle Beta. Right. Um, quite a bit of health. Not a ton in terms of resistances. I mean, armor would suck if I was relying on physical damage, but which I'm not. Stun is pretty much unimportant to me. I also didn't see this guy. Level 13 as well. Quite a bit less health. Same resistances. Okay, so... If I wanted to play it safe... And I probably do. I hope I can reach these two. That would be very con okay, convenient. I think that was literally the maximum reach. Okay, we missed one and there is also Artilas. These are only level 9 and have pretty little health. 30% metal resist, but um, okay. I mean, we have successfully terrified this guy, so that's good. Hopefully we can at least poison him before he starts running away. Okay, the curse. We'll see if that does something. I guess if it makes him skip his turn. It did not. Um, but I guess it has a chance to do that uh, and prevent him from running that way. That would be convenient, of course. Should we just focus on dealing damage? We get a full turn of uh, just attacking this guy. And I actually deal quite a bit of damage now. Oh, never mind. I did not expect him to act again. I thought he just... Okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Of course, now we have these Artilas right in our faces here. Okay, good. You're dead, at least. Okay. Attack your colleagues. I probably want to heal myself, don't I? Um, that means we're going to be attacked by these guys. Uh, the thing is, I mean, I'm not going to die from poison immediately, but if I fail to daze or terrify them both, I'm going to be dead, so... I guess there's really no choice here. I could use a potion, but nah, it's fine. Uh, I... what? I 
I can't move. And co I'm, I wasn't trying to move. Is this happening again? I'm trying to activate heal. What's, what's wrong here? Select friendly target. Okay. No? Please. Please, game. What is going on? Um, heal. Select friendly target. It seems to think that I'm still in target selection mode. I'm trying to hit escape. I should have cancelled the spell now. I hit the hotkey for spell, for, for the healing spell, and it doesn't do anything. If I try to move, it tells me that I can't move. Why can I not target myself? Can I change the roster order? Not at all. Uh, this is really annoying. I, is there a hotkey to target target mem uh, party member? Uh, three, four, should it be five, maybe? Nope. I have no idea what's going on. It's really dumb. Uh, I guess I'll uh, cancel and... Can I not use a potion? Can I, can I do anything? I can just skip my turn. Why, is this, why has this started happening? There has been a recent patch that was supposed to fix bugs. And it this has happened twice now? Although I was somehow able to fix it that the first time it happened, but I I just don't want to accidentally skip my turn because that's going to kill me, basically. Right? There is no chance I'll survive if I... <sighs> okay. Cancel ability? No. Can I... Wait for ability to finish happening first. I, I mean, I wish I could, game. I really do. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to... I don't know. I'm going to pause recording and see if I can do something to fix this and if it doesn't work out I'm I guess I'm just gonna start over okay well I um, couldn't figure out what was going on it, it seems it seems like my I was unable I was stuck in in uh, trying to select a target I mean thankfully I suppose the game still uh, allowed me to skip my turn unfortunately though in this particular situation um, you know the enemies were about to attack and they did and um, actually killed half my party with a poison spray attack so I guess I could have just kept recording at that point, but uh, well, it's it's fine. You didn't miss anything, except my unfortunate death. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I really hope I'm not just being stupid and and missing something. Um, but I mean, this is, has never happened before, except for these two times now, very recently, and both after that small patch. And I can only assume that it broke something, and I hope it's gonna get fixed pretty quickly. Um, I'm really not sure. What's up with that? Maybe I'll remove the spell. Maybe something got broken. I think it was trying to heal both times that uh, that, that happened. I think it was also both times uh, after getting a quick action, right? And uh, getting to do a second action in that turn. I might be misremembering. It definitely, it's definitely what happened this time. <sighs> well, okay. It's, I mean, it's not a huge deal, of course. We hadn't really done much yet. But uh, it is unfortunate. Also... Wait, did I? I have briefly paused my um, my my uh, hotkey script that allows me to scroll with WASD. I don't remember actually manually reactivating it, but it is active now. Whatever. It's uh, I'm I'm just gonna try to not worry too much about it. I really wonder though. I definitely don't remember reactivating it. Um, okay. Well, that <laughs> that threw me off a little bit. I hope I will be able to regain my balance here. Okay. Terrified, that's good. And everything else is far away. First. Okay, the others are coming. I should probably move forward and try to, to get them like this. Okay. We got terrified one artilla. Or uh yeah. So we only have one non terrified artilla to deal with. And uh, I was going to say, with any luck, we'll two-shot him, but he does actually have 30% elemental resistances. Okay, good. I'll try it again. I mean, I have to be able to cure myself, and then... The same thing happened again. I cured. And now... I'm trying to select a friendly target, 
aka myself, to heal. And it's not doing it. And the game seems to think that I'm still in the process of selecting a target. Well, I'll hit space to skip my turn, because at least in this situation I'm not about to die. But that is really weird. I guess I work around... I, I guess next time that happens, I'm in a similar situation, I'm gonna experiment and try to cure myself with, um, with a curing pod instead, instead of casting a spell, and see if I can cast a spell after that. It seems to be related... Well, I, I guess I, I can't really say that with any amount of certainty yet. Um, but it might be that it's just an issue of casting, trying to cast two targeted spells within the same turn. Which shouldn't be an issue because that's something that, you know, is definitely supposed to happen. Um, but, uh, well, it's uh, something is causing some sort of issue. I mean, I can't cure myself like this. That worked. Nice crit. I certainly do appreciate enemies without any elemental resistances. That's it's very satisfying to see these nice damage numbers. Okay, you are still terrified. I guess we'll try to move closer. Could you please just... What? Can't move in combat after you've attacked. Oh, it's, it's his uh, quick action. Never mind. That's, that's my bad. Can't see. That's okay. Nothing else around the corner. It's also good. Nice one. And there we go. Okay. Save after having done that. My god. Oh. Hold on. It's not the button I meant to press. Quickly into the combat and did not get punched in the face. That's good. Got two more of these claw bugs coming up though. That's well, this might not be a dead end. There might be more around the corner, but well, for now we see these enemies here. Um, we're not going to be able to kill this guy in one round, so I have to, if I want to play it safe, I have to do this and hope. Okay, good. Hasted. It's a bit annoying. But we still get a chance to terrify them before they can hopefully do anything bad. Never mind. They hasted themselves. That's why they acted sooner this round than last round. Okay. Okay, good. All terrified. And there is a Searing Archila coming up. Wait, this one's only level 6 and has only 51 health. And uh, it does have resistances, so it's probably not going to be a one-shot. Uh, right, we also have... we all have Acid ticking. Which is, of course, unpleasant. I probably should have... Yeah, I should have used her ability to uh, curse multiple targets. I haven't really seen the curse do much, um, to be honest. But uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to do something eventually, maybe. I don't know. Um, what to do... I guess I will use Curing Spores and Healing Spores to play it safe. I might get away with just uh, healing the lowest target for now. Okay, I mean, that worked, right? I It wasn't a quick action, though. I didn't get any extra action points. I just used an item first and then cast a spell. And the item was not targeted. Uh, that might also factor into it. There was just a, you know, an automatic multi-target action. I don't know. Just uh, spitballing, I guess. Because I really don't know what could possibly be causing that weird issue. It's also particularly jarring, I guess, uh, because, I mean, obviously, bugs happen in games. It's, it's, you know, and this one is annoying, but it's not Completely crippling, and I I hope that it's gonna get fixed. 
I'm actually pretty confident that it is definitely going to be fixed and probably pretty soon. Because um, I couldn't possibly be the only one experiencing those, uh, those things. Uh, but it is notable because I really don't remember any serious bugs of a similar kind in any of the spiderweb games I've played before. And I've played... Well, I haven't played them all, but I have played all the remakes and all the more modern games, so... Um, and those were all very solidly crafted, you know? Also, we are in a bit of trouble here, actually. That's guy. Oh, no, we're in much more trouble than I thought. That sucks a lot, so much. I was really hoping that we'd get a turn before that happened, but... You know what? At this point, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take it. It's fine. We're gonna... Head out of here and heal. It's fine. Um, gonna finish off this guy, of course. Oh, that's something's going on up ahead there. Oh no! Don't do anything that I'm gonna regret. There we go. So, oh, <gasps> there it is. Unformed cockatrice, level nine. Okay, that's nice. No damage resistances. Sixty percent mental, but that's not a hundred. Sixty is a lot, but. By not, might I actually be able to, to terrify this thing? It does have a lot of health, but level-wise, um, the, the relatively low level should mean that I'm... Oh, also, Blackjack here, just barely holding on, my friend. There, you fix that. Um, the relatively low level should mean that we at least shouldn't have any trouble uh, hitting it, and that is always very welcome. Okay, that's just a... I guess I used to be an essence pool here. Would be really convenient to have one now, but oh well. Uh, one living tool, yes. Okay, that's well, just a way to bypass some of these patrolling monsters, I guess. And an access to these items here: jeweled wand, uh, cone attack, stun for one turn. Ooh, energy damage and stun. Um, okay. Um, well, whatever. put it there, I guess. Uh, we do have, we also have these airshot crystals that, that uh, stun. And then we have these, I uh, kept these as well for some relatively heavy and targetable fire damage if I need it. Um, fire wand is a cone attack. I don't, honestly, I'm not really sure why I kept this one. Um, if I need to deal some, some fire AoE damage to something, I'm just going to use my blast crystals, right? Uh, and for cone attacks, I have my own spell. I don't know, maybe I, I can actually let go of this fiery wand. Of course, the jeweled wand is also a cone attack, but much more damage, and the stun. Shockwave ability, right. Um, then we have the spray crystals for acid damage if I need it. Yeah, okay. Um, just you know, reminding myself what I have here. And this, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because 14 XP is 14 XP. Okay, well, um, honestly, I guess I technically knew that the entire quest was going to take place on this map, right? On what was left of the map. So there couldn't have been all that much. But I'm still surprised that there were, were really only a handful of enemies on the way. And the boss seems surprisingly doable. But of course I'll have to reform my party. It's fine. That was... that... yeah. That... Uh, loss of, uh, of creations was definitely preventable, but... Oh well. Are there pools over here actually? Um, actually, I don't think there are. You know what? Let me just uh, pause and quickly heal and reform my party, and we're going to be back to uh, try and fight that boss fight. I'm now that I've seen it, I'm pretty confident actually. Suddenly, we'll see how bad it really is. I'm sure that it, there's going to be more to it than meets the eye. All right, um, we're back here. Uh, as you can see, I've restored my party, and I, I actually went back and uh, created another green blish because I, well, I mean, I didn't see the the curse really do much. I'm assuming it does something, but well, I mean, it's it's also really not fair after only having fought a, a couple of enemies. Um, but since we are about to fight a boss, and I'm pretty sure vulnerability will work better here, especially since this one is pretty tanky. I mean. 
there's, that's just a lot of health to chew through, so um, making it vulnerable, if it's susceptible to that, seems like it would do more for me right here. And, you know, I'm, I think I might just go back and forth and, you know, use a differently colored Nira every now and then, just for variety, perhaps. But in this case, it seemed more uh, more sensible to go with the green one. Anyway, um, I just saved. Ah, and we do get a message about it. In this cave, you see the source of the dark thoughts you detected. It is clearly a creation. However, it is of a design never seen outside Susha Island. It's a bird variant. Yep, big chicken. That much is clear. However, it stands as tall as you, with rainbow-colored feathers and parts that are clearly of lizard origin. Um, it is curled up in a magic circle. Its eyes are open, revealing a pair of mad glowing orbs. You can sense its power from here. More energy has been pumped into it than any creation should bear, and the result is utterly unstable. Okay. How close can we get before it attacks? This close, at least. Okay. Oh, no. That's... Hmm. Well, I mean, whatever it tried to do... It looked like an AE AOE attack, but it apparently was only targeted at PB, or maybe it, it was just out of reach for everyone else. Anyway, um, with a 5% miss chance, he managed to miss, or it, so um, that's nice, I'll take it. I was going to uh, actually use some buffs here, because, you know, when if not now, um, but I am I also really want to disable it, since it's possible. It, does have a lot of resistance, but uh, it resisted. Oh well. I guess we'll see how much damage we can deal. 50? I mean, it does not have damage resistance. That's right. 42. Oh, you get your turn. It's not vulnerable. It didn't even say resisted or anything. Hmm. Quick action. 45. Six. And as it does work. Okay, here we go. Special mechanics. The cockatrice lets out a shrill cry. It echoes through the tunnels. So, calling for help? What is this? Okay, that's just damage. Oh, what are you guys? Charmed alphas, not betas. Okay. Um, yeah, they seem very much like the battle alphas I've been fighting. Um, no mental resist, so... Even though they are already charmed... I, I guess I'm not trying to charm them. But I would like to terrify them. The thing is, I would also really like this guy to be disabled. With any luck, these will take one more turn to reach us. Please? Terrify resisted. Crap. Okay, um... Why don't we all just retreat a little bit? 54, that's nice. Uh, I mean, you're about to die if you take another hit like that. Right? Yeah. In the interest of maybe maybe making you... allowing you to survive, I'm gonna... Have you not attacked this turn? Oh! Now he's vulnerable. Okay, I guess it's just not a... Not guaranteed? It should be, I think. I thought. Maybe maybe there is no uh, vulnerable resisted message. But that's what happened the first turn. Oh, the cockatrice is an unstable experimental creation. Your blows have disturbed it. And the intense magic stored within begins to leak out. Its rainbow feathers glow hypnotically. Meaning what? Oh, also... It just took 113 damage of acid damage. Uh, yeah, 113 points of acid damage, and then another 113 points of damage, exactly? And apparently it's dead. What? The magic of the cockatrice can no longer support its ravaged body. It collapses to the ground, and the essence inside its body begins to consume it. The cave is soon full of greasy smoke and bits of bird ash. Only one thing remains of the creature, a single rainbow feather. It still glows slightly, infused with the power of the beast to take it. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take it as soon as I actually walk over there, but we'll have to deal with these guys first, unless... Nope, no, they're certainly still around. Ouch. And they can teleport, like so. Um, but they missed. Good. Okay, well, that... I don't really know why the boss took that much damage. It seemed to take the acid damage twice. Which normally does not happen. Um... I mean, it did say that it became unstable, and just... No, I... Did, phew, that's not what I meant to do. I... Did not mean to click there. Well, okay, that sucks, because now I'm probably dead. Oh, well. 
That is <laughs> that is really dumb. Oh. Okay. It's fine. This guy might die from acid. Oh. Yep, and I'm dead. Great. GG. Wonderful. Okay, now I can do what I was actually going to do. And at least start out hasted. That's, that should help somewhat. In before, now he gets terrified immediately. Although I guess the boss himself itself... Nope. Certainly didn't. But it should be possible, though. It is only a 60% resistance. Hasted. Okay, that's a good start. Immediately vulnerable. It's also good. Does he also get hasted? Okay, and he summons. And he took 101... Oh, he cured himself. But thankfully he did not uh, finish killing uh, PB. So that's good. Uh, let's see here. That's not going to reach both. No, of course not. I guess ultimately the boss itself isn't really that bad. So I think I'm going to focus... Uh, I see. Focus on these guys here. Taking them out. Because they're going to be a problem. But yeah, honestly, if we could just get a couple more extra attacks... He's already down to 200 something. If he's gonna, and he's definitely gonna take another um, more than 100 damage uh, acid. Yeah. In fact, he's definitely gonna die now. Hypnotically, um, and okay, yeah. This this time just acid damage, but that was enough to kill him. Okay. 20 in experience, and the the rest of them got activated, but we will, uh, I guess, have to take a few more steps. Terrify them all, and start whittling down their not insignificant health. Uh, I did not give her the uh, multi multi target. Uh, Vulnerability move uh, for the sake of you know cost efficiency, so uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna cast War Blessing. I was also hasted. That's un that's uh, fortunate. <gasps> no, it happened again. Okay, so for whatever reason, and I actually did um, <laughs> while I paused the game earlier, I I actually did quickly um, do a quick search for for Gene Forge. Bugs, spell bug, combat bug. I found nothing. Um, I mean, I guess there is not a huge player base. The like the Steam forums aren't particularly active, uh, and the patch has been pretty recent, just like two or three days ago, I think. So if it really is something that has been introduced with that, then I guess it's pretty possible that no one has posted about it. It's also kind of a specific case, but I mean, again, something that will happen to every spellcaster. At some point, right? Where you try casting a targeted spell after you've already done something in the same round, either due to haste or quick action or I don't know, possibly other cases. But um, yeah, select friendly target to heal. I'm trying to. Can't do it here either. Nope. And I cannot. Normally, if you. I, I think even right-clicking might work, but normally just hitting escape uh, cancels the action, and then it says action cancelled. But um, that's the problem. I just can't cancel action. The only thing I can do is skip my turn, which thankfully I'm not just soft-locked that way, but uh, yeah, obviously that way I just waste my my turn, the rest of my turn. In this case, it's not going to be terrible, but um, and I, I literally cannot do anything else. I Try using an item, doesn't work. Try activating a different spell, doesn't work. Instantly cast spells, just basically the, the, the entire quick bar has turned completely uninteractive. I cannot even right click to modify spells, I cannot do anything. Oh, I can open my journal apparently. I cannot, oh, I can open an inventory, never mind. Did that cancel, uh, ca cancel it? No. Select friendly target. You cannot move. I mean, I'm not even trying to 
click somewhere to move. Uh, well, I suppose it does say walk even when I'm over the UI. That's weird. It's almost like what's happening is that the UI layer is uh, just has become it, it's still visible, but it's inactive. I mean, it's not it is not because I can actually it, it does react to my clicks, obviously. But um, I'm still targeting the, the the ground underneath, right? Obviously, the game is still keeping track of what what tile I'm targeting, I guess. Actually, not really, because it says walk 12 for some reason. Yeah, it's okay. I I have no no idea what exactly is going on. Just that something's broken. I'm pretty. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it's not just me being being confused about some sort of game mechanic. Um. Okay, so long story short, just, let's just deal with it, I guess, and uh, hope that we can at least finish this combat without any more problems. The good news is, I guess, that these guys are all cornered. Uh, three turns, two turns, one turn, two turns. So I should probably try and reapply terror if I can. Not quite. Next turn should be fine, though. Please let me do this. Okay, yep. So walking first and then casting is fine. It seem it, it only ever happened so far when um, when I had already done something on that same turn. Okay, he became unterrified, but did not did not do anything. Okay, walk, walk forward, do this. They have no resistance. Okay, of course, of all the enemies to resist, this one did, but he is about to die. Yep, good. We walk there. I guess I'll just help killing now. I think we're going to focus on this dude. Let the other one get killed by acid. Yep. Nice. Wow. Holy moly. 92? That might actually be the highest damage I've ever done across my entire party. Hmm. Yep. Very suddenly, my main character has started dealing a lot of damage. And interesting that there's actually... Um, a connection between these labs here. I wasn't considering that. Huh. I, guess that, I suppose that makes sense, since it was all part of you know a single experimental complex of some sort. Anyway, uh, let's see what we get here. A Dante's Guile. Surrounds you with an invisible cloud of luck. If this is in your pack, when you try to use machinery... What am I doing? I accidentally right-clicked. I guess that just happens sometimes. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a weird thing that I sometimes do. Um, not sure why it happened now. Surrounds you with an invisible cloud of luck. If this is in your pack, when you try to use machinery, the task will be slightly easier. Okay, so this gives me a passive bonus to mechanics. That's nice, I guess. Would be nicer if I uh, didn't already have a pretty pretty good machinery skill, but uh, or mechanic skill. But um, I'll take it. I mean, it does use up an inventory space, but I guess that's a relatively small price to pay for a unique item like that. Um, the game also did mention that rainbow feather that I got, special items. Uh, gleaming feather, there it is. This feather is all that remains of an unstable cockatrice. Okay. So by itself it doesn't seem to do anything. This is really all just junk. Okay. But we'll see if... Um, What's his face? The main researcher here. The quest giver is going to take that off my hands, or if there's some more use to it. Maybe it's just as a little, uh, basically a trophy item to remind me of my victory over the uh, cockatrice. Which did, by the way, not produce a, an achievement for some reason. Not that it matters, but uh, I expected one, I guess, for a special special boss like this. I guess ultimately it wasn't really that bad, but it was the most uh, sophisticated uh, special encounter that we've had so far, right? Like the only enemy that really had any scripted events going on in this fight. 
Uh, right, you're not the main guy. Uh, I killed your mad creation. Show the feather. Okay, I need to show that as proof. I mean, honestly, with the evil aura it was creating, um, everyone around here should should just be able to tell that uh, that it's no longer around. But there it is. Okay, um, quest advanced, not finished yet. Do get some nice experience. You tell the Senate Cecina of the battle with the cockatrice. He collapses into a chair. At last, this curse, it is lifted. He starts to cry. Um, the tears stream and hiss as they run down his face. You are the one who came to save us. This act, it is only the beginning. We failed to do the great work before. Now, at last, it can be complete. I can reward you. What is my reward? Knowledge. Treasure and treasure and knowledge. Okay. I mean, honestly, I'm mo almost more interested in the knowledge than the treasure at this point, but um, what knowledge can you give me? I can't even ask about the treasure, which is fine. When we looted the research warrants, we looted some artifacts. We have no use for them, but you are a shaper. You can master them. Talk to Valera. She can give them to you. But that is a distraction. The real reward is that you can talk to the other Ascended now. They need your help. And there is much they can do for you. How do I talk to them? They are hiding in the desert to the north, but at the south end. They are secretive. They attack those who get close. But show them that feather. They will know what it means. They will talk to you. Good luck. Oh, okay. I mean, he didn't mention Eula specifically, but... Let's see here. Um, the other ascend where are the other ascended? I want to tell you... I, um, I did help you. <laughs> Oh, yes, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Things slip away. The other ascended are to the north and the south. Okay, that's just the same info again. Um, what knowledge can you give me? Anything else? Well, let's just... Right. Um, what this ruin? What do you do here? You have visitors. Where can I find Eula? She's with the other ascended at the south end. Okay, good. That's, I mean, that's what I figured, but now I have, have that confirmed for sure. All right, cool. Um, just... I leave. Do you have anything to say? Yes, Shaper? Mm. <laughs> I don't like your attitude. No, no, that's fine. Uh, are you Nota? What are you uh, are you doing? What does Asina do for this island? He makes things, right? Sila and well. He's ascended, he's changed. Um, right. Okay, I guess you don't have anything. Which is fair enough, you're just the guard. But uh, you here. Are you just going to open that door for me and there's going to be something in that middle chamber there? Uh, I killed a cockatrice for... <laughs> uh, a cockatrice. The only cockatrice to ever have existed, as far as I know, for Cecina. I know. The caves feel different now. The power of that beast was everywhere. It was oppressive. The Ascendant told me that I should reward you if you help him. What is this reward? There are three Shaper artifacts. The Ascendant looted them from the research warrants. We can't use them, but you are a Shaper. Perhaps you can. Okay. Wait, what? The artifacts can be charged? He didn't say that. <laughs> why, why would I... Why would this option be here? Um, where is this reward? They are behind the doors upstairs. Ah, upstairs. If Cecina wills you to be able to open them, you can. Two of the artifacts are not charged, but if they were, they, would, they could be very useful. The artifacts can be charged? The Ascended did learn that the items when they uh, did learn about the items when they stole them. The shapers made them as frameworks meant to be infused with power. The pools where they can be charged were built in remote locations on Susha Island. Ah, uh, the red pools underneath. What should I call it? Um, underneath Pentel Woods. Calling it right here. Mm, the pools were where they can be charged were built in remote locations on Susha Island. If they are still intact and you can find them, you can use them. Okay. Uh, why were the pools made in remote locations? I imagine because these artifacts were experiments and the shapers were afraid of massive explosions. Fair enough. How exactly do I use the pools? Just uh, dip the items in. The pools uh, pour their energy into anything that comes into contact with their mighty, with their mighty goop. Dipping the artifacts into the pools should get the job done. All right. Sounds simple enough. So, uh, this door is just never going to open, or both of these doors. It's a bit unsatisfying, but it's fine. I'll take it. Let's, let's see what those artifacts are, then. And I guess I still have enough time to 
should still have enough time at least to uh, check to confirm whether these whether the uh, red pool is actually the one one of those pools I should say a uh, feisty slap glove this glove makes you eager to strike your enemies with the feisty slap of pain however it has not yet been charged with power interesting um, that's it well I, I could use it now but it's not charged it's all it's already sparkling as it were but not quite, I guess. Um, Helix Bracer. This strange artifact can be infused with energy at certain places. It has not been charged yet. So the question is... Oh, actually, I forgot. Did he did he say that there were exactly as many pools as there are items? Or are there actually different outcomes? Can I create different items by combining different items with different pools? Oh, no. Hmm. Anyway, by itself, it uh, doesn't do anything. It's uh, arcane bracers. So these are, yeah, wait. Hold on. So these are both hand slot items, which is a bit unfortunate. Also, of course, we already, we just recently found these pretty, pretty nice arcane bracers that do boost our damage. All our spell casting, really. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we, we're going to replace that, potentially, pretty soon. We also get a um, caster here. Create cockatrice? Wait, what? How? There's not even a slot for that. Hold on. Hold on. Abilities. Where's that even going to go? I mean, yes, this whole thing is a, um, a remake edition. But, uh, I mean, they're, all the spells, at, at least, you know, that's what I thought uh, until now. Um, are already list listed here, right? I mean, how's this gonna work? Enables you to create a cockatrice. Each extra point. Uh, yes, obviously. Huh. You feel the new knowledge that has appeared within you. You now have an ability to shape a cockatrice. Sort of, you think. This feeling is different from the other canisters. Your knowledge is incomplete. You can make a cockatrice a powerful, highly magical creation. However, until you learn more about how to make them, the result will be dangerously unstable. Interesting. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Not like this. Oh, it's just special creations. What's this? Wait, what's this? Has this line always been there? It, it maybe. Who knows? Uh, okay, needed one. I have three. I guess I just don't have enough essence to even select it. It's the same as with uh, other creations that I. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No, these. I haven't learned these yet. Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure. I do have 17 essence. That should probably be enough, right? In terms of cost? Doesn't it? I guess it does not list the cost. Yeah, obviously I haven't really unlocked these. But um, according to the game, I should be able to try and summon one, even if I don't have the full knowledge. Or was that just uh, fancy talk for you can't actually summon it until you know more? Hmm. I mean, that's what it seems like. I guess I'm going to try once I have all my possible essence available. Maybe it's just that expensive. I don't know. Interesting, either way. Well, I mean, that's it for this quest, right? Uh, Tale of the Ascendant is not over. We are supposed to go talk to the other Ascendant. And they are well, somewhere somewhere in the southern part of the of the desert, but not in this part here. There might be an area like maybe in between these two or something. Or somewhere else entirely. But uh, yeah, I guess that should be relatively easy to find as soon as I actually start exploring that area. Which I don't think I'm going to do quite yet. Uh, would you please... Bit annoying when that happens. Um, I went. I wanted to check out Pentacle Woods, I suppose. Um, not really sure which entrance is the closest here, but this should do the trick. Okay. Nothing seems to have respawned here or re wandered around here. Please open this. Oh. Do open it manually, that's okay.
strange pool. I mean, that, that has to be it, right? What else could this possibly be? Save the game just in case and actually interact with it. Uh, you find a pool of swirling red essence. The air around it is hot and steamy. The essence smell is so strong it makes you faint. The goo has a warm glow that lights up the chamber. It is charged with energy. You have learned that certain artifacts can be charged with, with immersion into this fluid. Uh, drip. Okay. I mean, dip the helix bracer into it. You grab a nearby pair of tongues. That's a uh, good thinking, actually. Delicately uh, and delicately dip the bracer into the slime. There is a flash of light. Energy flows into the metal bands. They glow white hot. And then the pool's energy is discharged. The essence isn't glowing anymore. The bracer, on the other hand, is emitting a very faint nimbus of light. Okay, so you can only use it once. Fair enough. Uh, leave it alone. Although, at this point, if it's discharged all its energy, it's, it might not be any dangerous anymore, but who knows. And we got the Helix Bracer that now adds one to Intellect and Creation Intellect. Okay. Mm, I mean, honestly... Also, the, the reason why I picked this one first uh, is that I expected the Bracer... You know, since they're both, unfortunately, for the same item slot, I figured gloves... Um, also, I guess the inscription um, hints at that as well, but I was thinking gloves are more like a, a, you know, actually for a fighter, actually a protective piece of gear, whereas the bracer is more of a magical one. And yeah, judging by the description, that definitely seems to be the case. Um, and uh, yeah, since you can use every pool only once, I'm guessing it's just a matter of finding the, the other pool to infuse the other item. But we'll see. Uh, Helix bracer, right. I mean, the thing is, um, one point of intellect does add 5% magical damage increase, right? I think that's exactly what it does. Yes. All spell effects. So that should be that should mean the same as damage and uh, blessings and curses. So it should have the same effect as my current arcane bracers. Um, plus uh, also increasing my uh, creature spellcasting sp spellcasting damage. So. In other words, just a straight upgrade, despite only being worth half as much for some reason. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to use that, because I you know, did a special quest for it, and it's uh, just a bit more special than, than those other bracers. Again, unfortunate that I replaced them so soon, but you know, I'm not going to complain about an upgrade. Um, I will complain about having one less inventory slot now, although, of course, until I actually find the other pool, I... Uh, could just store these away. In fact, probably should. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was neat. Uh, apart from the that whole uh, combat bug business, that's really unfortunate, of course. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's strange that I haven't found any other reports of that. But again, it's probably pretty recent. I mean, it, it never happened before, and now after that patch, it, it's been happening constantly. I, I'm just going to see if it's... I, I guess we'll see if it, if it keeps happening just in normal combats, or if there are any other special conditions that have to be met, met for that to, to appear. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And again, it's thankfully it's not a game stopper. It's, you know, it's just... Annoying when it happens, but not necessarily uh, lethal or anything. Just sometimes. Oh well, um, we'll see. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, wait, what, what, how's, how, how does it go? As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's that's it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Um, bye bye. I need a break.